more for us. Right now, the city of Los Angeles says it's set up to administer 109,000 combined doses of the Moderna and Pfizer shots this week. LA has 29,000 doses of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine sitting in storage. Use of the single dose vaccine on hold after six women developed extremely rare blood clots. But the shot may go back into circulation soon. If it was pulled once and they haven't made any changes yet, um, I'm not sure that I would consider that again. Not at this time, at least. Dr. Anthony Fauci making the Sunday morning talk show rounds. He says a decision on whether to reinstate the use of the J&J &J shot could come by the end of the week. One of the possibilities would be to bring them back, but to do it with some form of restriction or some form of warning. But I believe by Friday we're going to know the answer to that. Across the country, new infection rates are between 60 and 70,000 cases per day. Dr. Fauci and the CDC still recommending face coverings even after vaccination. He says new variants are an ongoing concern and there's still a small risk of infection after vaccination. What happens is that you might get infected and get absolutely no symptoms, not know you're infected and then inadvertently go into a situation with vulnerable people. And if you don't have a mask, you might inadvertently infect them. Face masks have been a huge contention throughout the pandemic, but Sharon Dean says she'll wear one until advised not to. I'll wear the mask wear the, until they know. We don't quite know yet everything that we'd like to know. Despite an uptick in cases across the country, LA County says it's seeing the lowest positivity rate of the pandemic at 1%. That's down from the height of 20% during the surge in December. Signs of progress as health officials hope we don't regress here in Southern California. With eligibility expanding, the city of Los Angeles says the average age of a person getting their first dose of the vaccine has gone down from 42 to 33 years old. Rick Montanez, KCAL 9 News. And the Orange County Health